Hey homesteaders, welcome back to the channel. I need lights in my shop, and if it gets below 50 degrees, I don't have any lights in my shop. So today, we're gonna show you how to replace an old magnetic ballast with a brand new electronic ballast. Stay with us and see how it's done. Okay, specifically in this video, we are going to show you how to replace an old magnetic ballast with a new electronic ballast. Now, you wanna pay attention to, on your old ballast, when you're going to shop for your new ones, this chart right here, that's gonna tell you what type of uh, lamps and watts and currents you have or you need for your specific luminaire, and you're gonna need to match that up with your new ballast. This one specifically is an eight foot T12. Now we are going to replace that with also an eight foot T12. It's marked here, T12 for an eight foot luminaire. If you want to change to a T8, that's gonna be a different ballast and you may need to replace what's called the tombstones where the bulbs hook in on either side. For this video today, we're just gonna be switching from this old magnetic to the new electronic for the same bulbs. I have a lot of bulbs, so I'm not gonna change that out. This old ballast is only good to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and in some cases only 60 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on what type of uh, lamp you have. And that is just unacceptable. I can't work outside in the spring, fall, and winter in those temperatures in my shop and uh, get anything done. So these new ballasts, these electronic ballasts are good down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. That will cover a lot of bases in a lot of different places. Now, depending on what you're switching to or what you're taking out, there may be a uh, different wiring. So in this ballast, this old ballast here, we've got a black and a white and a blue and a red here. On the new ballast, we have black and a white, blues, two blues, and a red. Some ballasts will have yellows coming out. We're not gonna cover that today. This is specifically for this type. In this case, you are going to connect your hot and neutral to the hot and neutral wire coming out of your ceiling or wherever it's coming out of. You're going to connect the two blues to the black and the white uh, wires that are going to the fixture itself and you're gonna connect this red wire over here to both the blue and the red wires going to the bulb connection on the fixture. So this is gonna connect to both of these. You've got two blues here, which go, it doesn't matter which one, to the black and then to the white. And then again, the black and white going to your hot and neutral coming out of your wiring. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel and you're enjoying the video, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little notification bell right next to it because if you don't, YouTube's never gonna inform you of when we put out new videos. I'll do that right now, it's every Tuesday morning, but also hit that little bell. And we'd love for you to go in the description below and hit our Amazon link to look at our tool store over on Amazon. We also have that tool store on our website at countrylivingexperience.com. We appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. Now to replace that ballast, the first and most important part is shutting the power off. Make sure you do that. Use the appropriate equipment to check to see if there's any current flowing through your fixture and be safe. Second, remove the bulbs out of the fixture. Third, you're gonna, each fixture is gonna be different, but you're gonna remove these protective panels here. And in my case, it's just this little clip here in the center, and then these panels pull right off. Our next step is to remove our old ballast. You wanna leave yourself as much wire as you possibly can. And that means you wanna clip it off very near to the ballast itself.
So you've seen I've moved the position of the new ballast and that is because these wires, these black and white wires that come out of the new ballast are somewhat short. So on I think a lot of fixtures you'll be able to reposition your ballast. I've moved it essentially from this side over here to this side over here and they're even, they're symmetrical. The whole uh, housing is symmetrical from one side to the other. So to give myself more room to connect these black and white wires, I've moved it on this side. Our next step is to take our black and white hot and neutrals from our ballast and connect them to our black and white power in from our, uh, our wiring from our ceiling here. And in this case, these, I have several lights in a row, these are wired in series. So that's why you see two black wires and two white wires here and then the grounds are connected over here. So we're just gonna take these and connect them via wire nut. We're gonna take our blue wires that come from the ballast. We're gonna run them and we are going to connect them to these black and white wires from the fixture. So you're going to connect these three together to one of the blues. Now remember, it doesn't matter which blue goes to the black and the white because it's both the same. The ballast um, controls that. Try and make this as neat as possible so that everything fits nicely back up in the housing. The last step is to take that red wire from the other side of the ballast and connect it to the red and blue, all three together, on the other side of the fixture. Once you're done with that, you should be good to go. Let's button everything up and see if she works. Well, there you have it. She works. And the nice thing about these new electronic ballasts are you don't get that weird buzzing noise from the old magnetic ballast and it'll work down to zero degrees now and I can work on my shop. We appreciate you all being here. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, like the video, it helps us out a lot. Go visit us on countrylivingexperience.com and read our blog. Go visit us at our Amazon store. We have all the tools we recommend and use there. We'll also put that link down in the description for you. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, and we will see you on the next video.